Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. The dust has settled. Ryland Charlton, you told us that you were going to go in there and beat Joe Laws. You've gone in there, you've beaten Joe Laws on Sky Sports. Is this your coming out party? Yeah, 100%. This is all I needed was the big stage to get out there and showcase my skills. And there it was. As my opportunity came and I took it. We've seen a lot of lads from the small hall circuit come over, be quietly confident, but then they get turned over. It's the big lights, it's the cameras, it all undoes them. It just seemed like nothing phased you and you could just go out there and, and blitz him and do your performance. It just seemed like you were completely unbothered by the lot. Yeah, I, I was kind of, it was all the cameras and all that. And it, I mean, I kind of got used to it. Being in the bubble for what, four, four or five days, four days or something, um, I kind of got used to it. And that's the hard bit, I thought, was the cameras and stuff. Um, but I, once I'd done that, the fighting part was the easy bit. So I just thought, once I get in, there's no crowd, there's nothing. It's just, just, a, just a ring and just me and Joe, that's it. Um, so yeah, I've done what I expected to do at the end of the day. And obviously you went in there and you got the victory. Let's talk about the fight. Um, not taking anything away from you, but a lot of people are probably going to highlight this. Did that seem like a different sort of Joe Laws tonight? And I mean, was that down to the fact that he was in with someone who weren't giving him any time to do anything? Yeah, I mean, I feel like throughout the bubble, it was not It was a different Joe Laws. I don't feel like he's normally more in your face and he's normally like good talker kind of thing. But he seemed quite chilled and calm and stuff. I don't know if he didn't have his crowd behind him or whatever, but... Crowd or not, it would have been the same result. Um, I feel like, yeah, I feel it would have been the same kind of result. And you promised that you were going to come forward and you were going to try and steamroll him. You've done exactly that from the off. Um, I mean, he could have gone down in the first, didn't. And then when he did go down, did you sort of know? I think everyone sort of knew when he first went down that um, it, it was going to be an early night. Yeah, I think he was done for. Um, the body shot took a lot out of him. Um, and yeah, it was just a matter of time. And then he, kept, he came forward, he was swinging his shots and he was, he was exerting more energy than he needed to do. Um, and yeah, I just took my chance and that was that. Tell me what it felt like when the referee did wave it off because obviously Joe was on the floor. You would have known in the back of your head what was about to come, but is that a culmination of all the hard work over these years? The small hall circuit, being in Norwich and not really having that platform and then moving to London and doing all this sort of stuff. Is that the sort of culmination of hard work? How good was that feeling? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's just <laughs> pretty amazing. Yeah, I knew it was going to wave it off. I looked at Joey on the floor, Joe on the floor, and he had enough. You could tell he had had enough. Um, he did. He did. He dug deep. He did dig deep, and he stuck in it. Um, and I've got a lot of respect for him. Did, like this won't be the end of Joe. He'll be back. He'll be back, and he'll be pumping his tickets out again. He's got a massive following. Um, but this is the shot that I needed to real kickstart my career, and I knew this was going to be it. So I put in everything. For it and be honest, it wasn't even the best performance I could have done. Let's be honest, oh, it was, give over. Well, honest, you, you can't it, start sitting here being critical rust. of a fucking knockout on Sky Sports. There was ring rust there. I didn't jab as much as I should have done. Um, my trainer, my trainer will tell me off for not jabbing. Simple as that. If he tells you off there, it just shows the high standard that, that you boys are setting. Um, I want to talk about a message, right? That your manager Dan sent me back probably 18 months ago, and he said to me. Are you at a show at York Hall? And I said, I'm not there. And he said, I've got a lad who I want to get some coverage for. I believe he can be special. I've got a few lads, but it's this lad, Ryland Cholton, that I believe can be special. How much does it mean when you've got people believing in you? And sometimes things ain't going to go your way. You're not going to get your fights. I know you've taken fights at short notice and jumped weights and you've been pissed about really in the game. But how much does it mean to have people believing in you? And how much can you celebrate this moment with them? I mean, it's brilliant. It's what we've always needed. Like me and me, Frank and Dan, we haven't had it the easy way we've we've done it all the hard way we always knew that all we needed was this platform to to showcase the hard work and the skill that we've put in and that's all, all we needed was this and so yeah it feels amazing to to have finally got it and done it um but yeah you've done it the hard way is it the easy way now i mean eddie hearn get the contract out and uh you can have the shows put in front of you you can be on tv and uh we can get the ryle and charlton train proper kickstarting at this domestic level well, yeah, it's going to make it a bit easier, yeah. Um, Frank's still going to be putting me through my paces, so training's not going to get any easier. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we needed, and 
That's that. I want to bring Frank in now. I promised him an interview in, a, in the actual fight week. It never materialised. Now, Rylan, stay in the shot. I don't want to take a lot of you as well. Um, yeah, I'll promise you an interview, Frank. Bloody hell, you're so tall. Look, the camera is just like... There we go. I've got him in. That is the pint-sized powerhouse and the two pint-sized powerhouse. Um, yeah, Frank, how much does this mean to you? I mean, Rylan said you're going to be critical and it sort of just shows the levels you must be setting in training and, uh, yeah, it's paid off. Um, yeah, it's not a level that's unobtainable for, for Ryland. I've, I've, we've been going to Matchroom for three years. I would like to fight, thank Tony Sims for letting us kind of use his gym and yep. also for the sparring Thanks. that he does provide for us on a weekly basis when we're in camp. Um, I've seen him do it in the gym, so it's just getting the right platform, the right time, and letting the kid display the talent that he's, that he's got. Don't forget, this is a weight above what he really fights at, and also at two weeks' notice. If he was in a position to have an eight-week camp at lightweight or, or lightweight, I think you see a, a, a lot better Ryan Chop. Also, he hasn't boxed since January, so he was ring rusty. His jab, he didn't work his jab enough, and he also there was a couple of mistakes that I know Ryan can do a, a, a lot better than that. Yeah, I think you've just made that win sound 10 times scarier because you've made it sound like a 20% Ryland Charlton's gone in there and done that damage. But you know that he's better than that and that just shows, I don't even know where this journey could go. Um, to, a, to a degree, but at the end of the day, without no backing, boxing is a very, very, very hard sport. Hopefully after that performance, either Eddie or, Eddie or someone will back him and just let him, just let Ryland show what he can do. I don't particularly think that that was, that was a 7 out of 10. You lot made me laugh. I bet you're fuming joking, at that. I'm joking, mate. That's the thing. Right, and I'm going to let you say um, one more message, and that message is going to be to Miss Eddie Hearn. I know it was all about getting the contract out. Um, yeah, I suppose. Just re say, reiterate that say, for us. I want to say a massive thank you as well for the opportunity. Um, and yeah, let's get this contract and let's get this ball rolling and let's get some straps. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.